Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisian President El Baji Qaid Al Sipsi on his country's Republic Day, wishing the brotherly Tunisian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisian President El Baji Qaid Al Sipsi on his country's Republic Day, wishing the brotherly Tunisian people more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also sent a similar congratulations cable to Tunisia's Prime Minister, Youssef Al Shahid. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met at Khudaybiyah Palace, the successful candidates joining the 4th First Deputy Prime Minister's Fellowship, FDPM Fellowship. He stressed that Bahrain citizens are at the core of the Kingdom's sustainable development initiatives and highlighted the essential role Bahrainis play in all sectors of the economy. He noted the importance of prioritizing advanced training initiatives that develop and strengthen the leadership and management skills of young Bahrainis, who will in turn energize the economy, advance society and help to achieve the Kingdom's sustainable development goals. His Royal Highness welcomed the FDPM Fellowship's fourth intake, congratulating them on their success and expressing his pride in the skills and expertise developed by former fellows. He noted that their subsequent achievements reflect a commitment to excellence nurtured during their time with the program. The Crown Prince expressed his hope that the incoming fellows will take advantage of the opportunities the FDPM Fellowship offers to enhance their skills and expertise and contribute to the Kingdom's ongoing development. He extended appreciation to the Fellowship's administrators, noting their ongoing and tireless commitment to achieving the objectives of the program. For their part, the fellows expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and for his continuous support to Bahrain's work for through various programs and initiatives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisian President El Baji Qaid Al Sipsi on his country's Republic Day, wishing the brotherly Tunisian people further progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the concluding ceremony of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Young Novelists Award in 24 hours, which was launched in March, was held in his presence in our capital building in Bahrain Bay. The award was organized by Al Wata newspaper in partnership with His Highness's media office. 42 novelists from Bahrain and Gulf countries participated in the competition, which is part of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad initiatives that are aimed at supporting the youth in the field of culture. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Muhammad al Jodr, the Ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Abdullah Abdul Malik al al Sheikh, and the Editor in Chief of Al Wata newspaper, Yusuf al bin Khalil. On this occasion, His Highness affirmed that the Kingdom was one of the first countries that had a keen interest in the field of culture. He recalled the initiatives adopted to support the youth and enrich the national culture. He noted the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote the cultural movement and embrace intellectuals, culture and literature. His Highness also highlighted the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in providing an adequate environment for young authors and writers. Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the youth participating in the award and congratulated them, wishing them further success in their endeavors. Bahraini novelist Jumana Al Ghassab won first place, followed by Saudi novelist Nijud Al Khalagi in second place, and Bahraini novelist Abdullah Fuad in the third place.
the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at Al Wadi Palace, Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and the Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar, to discuss the preparations of the committee for the Bahraini delegation's participation in the 18th edition of the Asian Games, which will be held in Jakarta starting from August 18th until September 2nd. Sheikh Khalid praised the efforts of the committee, led by its chairman, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which has contributed to developing sports in the kingdom. He added that the committee has made outstanding achievements in 2018, which was named by His Highness Sheikh Nasser the Year of Gold. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the skills and capabilities of Bahraini youth who are exerting all their efforts to promote the name of the kingdom in international events. For his part, Askar congratulated His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the members of the Bahraini Athletics Association on the achievement of the national team in the West Asian Championship. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the senior advisor to President Donald Trump of the United States of America, Jared Kushner, in the presence of the Assistant to the President and Special Representatives for International Negotiations, Jason Greenblatt. This comes during the official visit of the Minister to the U.S. The distinguished historical relations between Bahrain and the U.S. were reviewed and discussed by means of strengthening them to support the interests of the two countries and friendly peoples. Consultants on recent developments in the Middle East and a number of issues of mutual interest were also discussed, aiming to achieve peace in the region and the world. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, focuses on enhancing relations of cooperation with the U.S. at all levels and on the basis of mutual respect, trust and common interests. He expressed his appreciation for the commitment of the U.S. in establishing security and peace in the Middle East, stressing that its role remains crucial in dealing with various regional and international challenges, as it's considered a key guarantee for achieving comprehensive peace in the region. The minister praised the steps taken by the U.S. in confronting Iran's policies aimed at undermining security and stability by intervening in the internal affairs of the region and the funding of terrorist militias and providing them with weapons and training. He stressed the solid position of Bahrain with the U.S. in confronting the Iranian threat. For his part, Jared Kushner welcomed the Minister of Foreign Affairs and expressed his appreciation to Bahrain and its keenness to cooperate with the U.S., stressing that it focuses on maintaining security and stability in the region and through joint action with countries that are keen to establish peace. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the U.S. National Security Advisor, John Bolton. They discussed bilateral relations and the importance of enhancing them to serve the common interests of the two countries and friendly peoples. They also discussed the most important issues and developments in the region and the world. The minister expressed Bahrain's pride in its distinguished relations and strategic alliance with the U.S. in various fields. He also praised the security and military cooperation between the two friendly countries, which is characterized by its constant development based on a long history of its integrated system of of security and military relations supported by common goals and efforts aimed at establishing security and stability. He noted the growing economic cooperation and trade relations between Bahrain and the U.S., which is considered a pillar in the strategic partnership between the two countries ever since the implementation of the Free Trade Agreement in 2006 took place and thanks to the development and diversification of the Bahraini economy. The minister expressed appreciation for the significant role played by the U.S. in establishing security and stability in the Middle East, combating terrorism in all its forms and eliminating the causes of tension and conflict, the most serious being Iran's policies and its constant support for terrorism, stressing Bahrain's historic and firm commitment to the U.S. to confront Iranian policies and eliminate terrorism to create a safer environment for all. For his part, Don Bal 
Dalton welcomed the visit of the minister, affirming the relations of friendship and cooperation between Bahrain and the U.S. and the continuation of joint coordination on various issues and challenges, highlighting Bahrain's contributions in facing these challenges. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, received the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Center of Strategic and International Studies and Energy Studies, the Rasat, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Mansour praised the brotherly relations between the two countries and praised Bahrain's development march during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah expressed pride in the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the UAE, which are progressing and solidifying in all fields, to serve the common interests and goals and meet the aspirations of the two brotherly societies. He also praised the UAE's achievements in all fields. He noted the continuous coordination and fruitful partnership between the Rasat and its Emirati counterparts parts which aim to develop bilateral relations and open new channels of cooperation. His Highness Sheikh Mansour was briefed on the most important activities and research programs carried out by the Rasat in support of scientific research, enhancing stability and sustainable development and its role in promoting peace and moderation. His Highness hailed the Rasat's efforts to monitor, analyze, and forecast developments on both regional and international fronts. The Joint Ministerial Parliamentarian Committee on Legislative Amendments is conducting meetings to discuss amendments on the pension and retirement laws, these meetings are conducted to protect the rights of citizens and eliminate the government's keenness towards the permanence of the social insurance system, thus achieving its objectives and providing a decent life for the citizens of the kingdom. More in this report by Sara Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa directed the government to reconsider the two bills of pension and retirement laws in cooperation with the parliament, taking into consideration all views and remarks expressed during discussions at the Shura and Representative Councils, as well as views expressed by citizens, columnists and journalists across various media platforms. The reassessment of the situation should result in agreements among Bahrain's authorities and respective institutions to introduce the necessary amendments to the currently applicable laws to ensure that the pension and insurance funds continue to fulfill their obligations for future generations. During the second meeting of the Joint Ministerial Parliament Committee on Legislative Amendments, where the government side of the meeting was chaired by His Excellency Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance, while the legislative branch included a parliamentary delegation headed by His Excellency Ali Al Aradi, the first Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, in addition to a delegation from the Shura Council chaired by His Excellency Mr. Jamal Fakhru, the first Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council. The most important target for all members of the committee is ensuring justice for all members in the pension and insurance funds through the proposed reforms in addition to preserving the rights of the members, avoiding benefit duplication of some members at the expense of others, and working to develop retirement benefits for the employees, which supports the continuity of the fund at the same time. Hence, it's important to keep in mind that any consensus on the proposed reforms should lead to ensuring the permanence of the pension and insurance funds and ensure their stability in light of current and future challenges. The reform of the pension laws is necessary to support the ability of the funds to meet their obligations towards retirees and their beneficiaries by reducing the gap between contributions received and benefits offered. The Joint Committee discussed the amendment proposals which include modifying the method of calculating the cost of combining the virtual service period into the insurance to be calculated with an actuarial table and calculating the period of purchase after payment in full. Setting a minimum subject to participation salary for the public and private sectors equal to the minimum pension plus 50% in order to achieve a balance between the percentage of contributions paid and the value of pensions due. 
Other subjects were also on the agenda. It should be noted that the re-examination of the draft pension law takes into account the compatibility of the legislative and executive branches through the introduction of appropriate amendments to preserve the rights of the members, prolong the life of the funds, and enhance the sustainability of pension benefits, where the result of these adjustments will reassure savings. This is Sarah Brake reporting for Bahrain International.